Hello everyone. Today we'll be looking at my new Ring Spotlight Cam Battery Wireless Outdoor Camera with Lights. My Spotlight Cam Battery arrived in an artfully designed cardboard box. There's a lot of good information here and it tells you a lot about what the camera is capable of doing. There's even a note printed on the side of it signed by Jamie Siminoff the founder and chief inventor for Ring Camera. And get this, Ring will even replace your camera if it ever gets stolen for free. And yes, the camera was designed in Santa Monica, California, but assembled in China. Time to open up the box and see what is inside. This is the user guide. And inside of it, you'll find the QR code for downloading the Ring app and here is a torque wrench. This will be used to tighten the clamp that holds the camera to the camera mount. And we'll take a look at that shortly. Here's the USB charging cable. And you'll notice that it's the old style type A, I believe they call that. Here's a nice ring decal that will help to deter potential thieves. And here are the screws for that mounting plate that we are pulling out right now. Notice that the mounting plate does have a collar around the mount, and you'll use the included torque wrench to tighten that with. Finally, here is the camera. I would assume that that is the motion sensor, and there's the two lamps that surround the lens, and also a plug-in for an external solar panel. Here's the battery compartment, and there is the wall mount joint. The camera looks and feels well built and watertight. Hopefully it won't leak in a thunderstorm. And there's no missing that orange color or that ring logo. All designed to deter a potential thief. Before installing the app to your mobile device, you will want to make sure that the ring spotlight cam battery is fully charged. Remove the battery pack from the camera chassis by pushing on the metal release latch. Note the USB port on the connection side of the battery. Plug the small end of the USB charge cable into the battery pack. Note that the Note that the status of the charging LEDs is listed on the side of the battery pack. Red and green indicates that the battery is charging. A single solid green light indicates that the battery is fully charged. It took my battery pack overnight to become fully charged. One of the first things that you will want to do is download the Ring Always Home app to your mobile device. In my case, I'm using the Google Play Store. You may use the Apple Store if you have an Apple phone. Once you have downloaded the app, open it. Choose Create an Account and enter your full name, as well as the country that you reside in. Then enter your email address. After submitting your email address, enter the verification code that was sent there from Ring. Alexa integration is available. After Ring verifies your code submission, you are good to go. Log into the Always Home app and choose Security Cams. I chose while using the app to allow Ring to take pictures and record video. Scan the QR code in the user's guide and choose Spotlight Cam Battery. The Ring app will need your device's location. Not happy about this, but you'll have to put in your complete address. I've got a feeling this is for the marketing boys, but you can't get past it if you want to use the app. Enter a phone number for two-factor authentication and enter a name for the Spotlight Cam. I found it easiest to name my device by location. Time to put the battery in. Here's how I did it and what the flashing light should look like. 
I have my Wi-Fi password memorized. At this point, I noticed my Spotlight ring cam was still blinking, but at a somewhat slower rate. I assume that this is because we are connecting to the ring cam temporary network until we get the full connectivity into my home network. And sure enough, we are temporarily connected and we are prompted to connect the device to my home network. After entering my password, it took several seconds for it to connect. After hooking up to your home network, Ring tells you that you have become a success and should continue on. However, you're not really ready to use the app because now you have to enter a new account verification method. And so apparently the first phone number entry wasn't enough for it to use. Now we are going to have to enter a number once again and to do that we have to get into the control center for your new Ring Spotlight Cam battery. After entering your mobile number, Ring will send you a new verification code for you to enter into the app. And if you put the code in correctly, you will be rewarded with a success message. And then the Ring app goes on to explain to you how and when your mobile texting number will be used for two-factor authentication when you need to log into your account which is a good thing. So now theoretically a hacker would need more than just your password to be able to hack your Ring account. They would also need your mobile device and the ability to send and receive the codes. So finally the Spotlight Cam battery is working. We actually have an image appearing upon my mobile device and we're going to tap to go live but we have to give the app permission once again and here is the workbench that I've been using to set up my ring spotlight security cam the image is clear and all looks well I just turned off the light, the microphone, or excuse me, the speaker is off, and I turned on the light. I have an opportunity to share the event with another user, I suppose. And I've just turned off the light again, and this time we were looking at the desktop with the infrared lens. I've mounted the camera on my neighbor's porch so we can keep track of his lumber and his chop saw. Viewing the porch is as simple as tapping on the ring icon on my mobile device and choosing the live stream mode. As you can see, the video is crisp and bright and detailed. The app gives you the ability to view the video in either the vertical or a horizontal plane. When we exit the live mode, the video is being processed up in the cloud on the Ring servers and is being returned to us so that we can review what we just looked at in live mode. The motion sensor on the Ring Spotlight Cam battery is pretty sensitive and I have it set up so that I get notified when it senses motion. I receive those notifications in two places. One is on my Android wristwatch, and the other, of course, is on my mobile device. Oh, and you can set it up to also push notifications to your Windows desktop computer. By the way, you can also log into your Spotlight Cam battery by using your internet web browser. Here, I'll be using Windows Edge. In this video playback, I'll be demonstrating the Spotlight Cam Battery's onboard lights. Note that before I gave the Spotlight Cam Battery a command to turn on its onboard LED light system, 
It was dark, however, you could still see that was because it is using the infrared light source to illuminate the surroundings. Here you can see that the LED light is nice and bright and really exposes all the details that you need to see in this particular nighttime situation. These lights will also come on if motion detection is enabled and motion is detected. In this video playback, I'm using the microphone feature on my mobile device. Hello. Hello there. Testing. One, two, three. Now that was what the Ring app recorded. Here, I'm using another mobile device to capture the sound that is coming from the Ring Spotlight Cam battery. It sounds tinny, but it's clear and it's loud enough. And this is what the siren sounds like. So that works pretty good too. I tried speaking into the microphone's camera, but it's just impossible to do with one person and you wind up just getting a whole lot of feedback. So what are my final thoughts on the Ring Spotlight Cam battery? The app feels more mature than a lot of other security camera apps that I've used, but there are times when you feel like there was just too many fingers in the pie, especially in the setup phase. However, it works pretty well for what it is and I like that I can access the camera through my desktop PC as well as my mobile device. The camera has a strong radio in it. It works especially well if you can minimize obstructions in the signal path. Be advised that you cannot store captured video locally and that you must pay a subscription fee to access stored videos up in the Ring Cloud. Although you can still access the camera without a subscription, you won't be able to archive and review the video. Battery life seems to be okay. I mean, I ran the camera for three or four days and it was working fine and I accessed it quite a few times just to make this video. But the camera is designed to work with a solar panel. So I think that will be my best long-term option for powering this device. The cloud features seem pretty reliable and I enjoyed logging in and looking at my captured videos. The app's camera controls worked consistently, although there did seem to be a delay once or twice with the motion detection feature. There are other security cameras out on the market that pretty much do the same thing as the Spotlight Cam battery, but most of them don't have the pedigree or the reputation that Ring LLC carries with its name. This particular model has been around for a few years and that attests to its popularity as well as its functionality. And finally, the neighbor's view feed inside of the Ring Always Home app is an innovative and really helpful feature that no one else seems to have integrated into their security cam apps. This concludes my video on the Ring Spotlight Cam Battery. Thanks for watching and I hope that you found it helpful.